What we're gonna end up doing today is replacing that muffler. The muffler that's on this thing looks like somebody went to a junkyard and just cut it off some random car, put it on with there with some flexi pipe, and that is it. That muffler is only being held on by a piece of flexi pipe that is halfway clamped on, and I'm sure you could just easily pull it off. Let's go ahead and start it up and let you hear the rattle. And that's quiet compared to what it has been. <laughs> it's uh, There's some times that it, it rattles loud enough to where I hear it echo off of buildings. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it here and get it pulled off. All right, let's go ahead and pull this off here. Let's see what it's like. I'm sure all of that rattle is coming from inside the muffler. I don't even think that's flexi pipe. It almost looks like a tin can. The question is, will it just pull off or I feel like it'll just pull off. Looks like it's not ready to. Possibly. Go get a flathead screwdriver and screw that band clamp. Seriously looks like somebody just hacked this off a junkyard car and just barely slipped it over the pipe that's on here. And then clamped it down somehow with maybe a tin can. We use band clamps, not exhaust clamps, but band clamps. I mean, hey, I guess it worked this long. Right? Job. There we go. And that. That piece, that piece of exhaust pipe right there has definitely been hacked on. Here's that repair of sorts. Looks like it was a muffler repair. It's got some heat packing on the inside of it. And somebody's definitely hacked that up with a grinder or hacksaw. Let's go ahead and clean up that pipe. Get rid of that hack job that was done on that. 
just to uh, make it a little easier to weld up to. Like a cheese cutter. <laughs> just went and got a BRE exhaust or BR exhaust. Part number 100-1742. Pipe's a little big. I had measured a different pipe on that and the pipe on this is a little different. But we'll be able to make that work. Let's see how this is gonna fit up inside there. All right, let's see. Pipe size is definitely a little too big, but what we got to work with. Just gonna weld it up just like that. That's gonna make it really easy. We can tilt it too to move it to hit stuff or to get away from stuff. I think the only thing I'm gonna need from the store is either adapters to adapt that size to the pipe. We can cut it down and shrink it up and weld it and then I think I'll get a little maybe see if we can tilt it this way maybe a little exhaust tip or something for here to get the exhaust to come out just a little bit further I think that is going to do do us really well I guess the exhaust hanger wouldn't be a bad thing either before we go and do any of that though Let's start it up and see what it sounds like. So now we've got the uh, the uh, decision to make. There's two different ways of doing this. There's a better way and an okay way. <laughs> which way is which? You decide. We've got two different options here. We can go to the store, which we need to anyways, and buy an adapter tube that goes in here and we'll neck this down to the correct size of pipe. Or we take a cutter, a grinder disc cutter, and we cut this up three or four times, push the pipe together, and then you weld up the segments all the way around, and then you can slip it on the pipe and weld it in place. I've done both. I've had no issues from either. I think one is definitely stronger than another because those adapter tubes can be a little thin sometimes depending on where you buy them from. What do you guys think? Should I cut it up? Or should I go buy the adapter tube? Because we need to get a little downturn anyways to get the exhaust to come out a little bit further right here. I figured I'd do it this way to show you how to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually showed how to do this on my video, so I'll do it this way this time. Okay. 
See if that fits. All right. We're close. We're close. I think I just knocked you silly. Just gonna keep uh, chopping away at it. You push it together, and when it doesn't fit, you recut your cuts and push it together even further. Just like that. See how that's looking? Looking really, really good. It doesn't take very hard tapping to get that to move. We'll go underneath to see if that fits. And once it does, you start tacking those all up and welding them into place. Yep, that perfectly fits. Like, perfect. You couldn't get a better fit than that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the welder out. We're gonna use a flex core welder. I'm gonna tack and weld all these guys up. Welder set up just right. You get to welding. I prep the surfaces here. Big part of welding is prepping your surface. You shouldn't have rust. This is aluminized, which is a zinc coating, I believe. Uh, you want to scrape all that off your welding areas. No uh, paint, rust, that type of thing. There's some welding processes that you can have some contaminants like that in it. But wire feeding is not one of those, nor is flux core. It's best to just get it as clean as possible. No matter if it looks clean or not, just clean it. Yeah, a little hot. It's gonna be fun to have to adjust this thing around and get it just right. Flux core isn't the best at welding exhaust up. Another thing to note while flux core welding is it leaves behind slag and you also need to clean that off between welds. If you weld with slag on it already, you can actually introduce that into the weld and that can also cause issues. It might not be the prettiest, but it's definitely going to work. Sorry about the video jumping around there. Alrighty, and just for the record, I did have my jack stand set up. I'm just not going to be underneath this anymore, and I'm taking everything out because we are done welding this up. It is not pretty. <laughs> it's it's not terrible. Let's see if we can get in get you in there so you can see it. It's not absolutely terrible but it's also like pretty flux core does not make the prettiest of welds until you knock the slag off there's a whole bunch of slag in there i don't feel like knocking it all off so i think we're just going to call it there not too bad with the muffler it's going to clear everything i need to put a bar in here to hold this up to hold the weight so it doesn't just bounce around in here there's some places for exhaust hangers. There's one here and there's one over there. This originally had a wide exhaust muffler like that. I could have gotten one of those, but I was figuring this round one would work just fine and would be easier to fit. And both of those are true. So next thing I need to do, I need to grab some self tappers or something and get this, <laughs> this bumper cover up and out of the way so it looks a little little bit better and then I may or may not weld another piece onto that it may just end up being like that because it's clearing the body clearing the the frame at least and the exhaust should just come straight out so let's go ahead and start it and see what it sounds like
quiet. Ha, no leaks. That's what I always do whenever you do an exhaust job, whether you're using band clamps, exhaust clamps, or welding. I always plug it off with my hand. I don't hear any leaks. We did a better welding job than I thought we did. <laughs> I think that's going to work just fine. Just need to tie that up somehow so it's not just back here bouncing as I'm driving because that will break the exhaust. I think that sounds pretty good. like that. The muffler tip's all welded up. Looks pretty good. Alright, we're gonna finish up this job. Picked up some Surebuilt. Just some exhaust isolators. Picked up a bar from Home Depot. And we're gonna hang this guy. Get it up where it's supposed to be. Got him running in parallel to run the welder. Runs the welder beautifully when uh, they're running in parallel. But we got this all done. This is what I'm left over with. What we ended up doing here is bending this guy kind of an L shape so it holds on. I bent the opposite side in the opposite direction. I probably wouldn't do that again, but it works. Welded it in place. It's really holding that exhaust up nice and high now. It's not gonna shake around and break the exhaust like I was worried about. I'm gonna throw some quick paint on that. But that is the muffler all done, guys. It's been it's been about two weeks since the beginning of this video <laughs> and I am definitely sick so just trying to put some videos out for you guys keep you guys entertained hope this was entertaining enough for you just one of those necessities that needed to be done this muffler is pretty nice I've been pretty happy with it so far so <laughs> wish the previous owner did freaking hack this bumper up but what do you do these bumper covers are hard to find <clears throat> all right tubers hope you enjoyed still need to get some self tappers or something and get that screwed in a little bit just so it's not hanging down so much probably flaps on the freeway <laughs> but pretty happy with it hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys later. Bye.